Fire-related deaths were at a decade low last year. Part of that's due to firefighters educating the public on fire prevention and safety. And as part of the Fire Safety Week, now Austin's fire department had an open house for families to come out and see what they do. KTTC's Alex Tejada was there and has this report. For decades, the Austin Fire Department has been opening its doors to residents to come and learn as well as enjoy fun educational activities. Getting in the trucks, interacting with uh, the firefighters, um, getting to do some of the fun stuff like shooting the fire hoses. Um, the kids seem to really like that, dressing up, putting on the gear. With the weather getting colder, firefighters say they notice an increase in fires. There are a few culprits to blame. Electrical is at the top. Unattended candles, cigarettes, those kind of things. Firefighters have noticed a trend in fires where there are injuries and fatalities and say there is a simple way to help prevent fire-related deaths. Have a working smoke detector and a working carbon monoxide detector in your home. Test it monthly. Uh, change the batteries every six months or a year. And that will be the number one thing you could do to keep you and your family safe in your home. In addition to having working smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors in your home, it's also a good idea to have a fire extinguisher on hand. People with space heaters, things like that in their house, never leave those unattended. Just be kind of, just be use common sense when it comes to that kind of stuff. Olson also warns against leaving food cooking on the stovetop unattended, as well as overloading circuits with too many things plugged into an outlet. After years of experience, he says helping people is the most rewarding part of the job. Seeing that there is, you can make a difference and that um, people's lives, even on the worst days, we can, we can try to make them a little bit better. Plan, practice, escape. Three words to right. remember. Yeah.